it is a beautiful yet hot technically spring day here we are Friday the 13th Ooh. got the solar stand going up right now more on that later but anyway this video is not about solar I'm actually uh, doing a video and requesting help from my subscribers with um, putting up a camera system so the reason I'm doing this video on this side of the barn is because our neighbors who are directly across the street from us we're having problems with them and again I'm not gonna get into any of that needless to say um, our livestock is at risk so I will just leave it at that and just say that again our livestock is at risk from our neighbors now our neighbors have cameras don't know if they're real or fake we'll, we'll assume that they're real but of course they have cameras watching their property and you wouldn't think that being way out here in the middle of nowhere you would need to resort to that kind of stuff but the world is kind of going crazy so um it is what it is i'm not talking about those folks over there those are really really good people we got very lucky on that side just didn't get lucky on the other side but anyways so uh we are purchasing a wireless dvr system and before you say you definitely need to go with a ring doorbell ring video everything else and this and that and the other thing um this is what we think of our ring system it is pricey it's hit and miss as far as the quality and if you're using the battery version it doesn't record all the time so we want to get a dvr we already have one picked out that we're probably going to get it comes with eight cameras they're wireless so i wanted wireless because i want to mount them up there on the edge that's not called the gable um but anyway it's the the overhang there i want to mount them on the overhang and obviously we're starting with four on the barn and i'm just going to have them you know one going in that direction on the other corner of the barn going in that direction which will watch him and his house one that watches the street corner and then one that's over here my neighbors over there the really really good neighbors he has seven cameras on his house i believe it's seven six or seven he has all all watching his house and since we've been having some problems with our neighbors across the street and he doesn't he's having just as many problems as we are which is a shame because we haven't done anything again i'm not going to get into it but anyways uh, i guess every neighborhood has those neighbors but anyways um he's you know he can see somewhat of our front yard in front of the uh, barn but can't see it all and um, again our concern is our livestock so we're going to be getting some cameras and i want to mount them on the corners of the barn up there but to be perfectly honest i am not experienced with running wires through things like metal siding this is some pretty standard metal siding here um, as you can see and the one thing that I'm concerned about is I go and drill some holes and whatever and run power to it And so on even though it's wireless. It still needs power. Obviously. It's not battery powered But I'll run wire to it and then I'll have water coming in That's my concern and I've looked on places like Amazon. They've got these really janky kind of Walmart like cheap 99 cent almost grommet like things that are supposed to protect but then you read the reviews it's like yeah it didn't do a very good job and since we get so much wind and uh you know obviously it's going to be exposed to the elements i want to make sure that there's no chance that uh, water can get in and um, that's actually about i believe that's about 16 feet up 16 or 18 feet it's pr it's up there pretty high i mean this barn i think it's uh, 30 feet uh, i'm pretty sure um it's as tall as the house um but uh, i want to put it on that uh, that end there and do that four times around um and uh we're gonna get a router that's gonna connect i've got two routers inside they're wireless they run in a mesh system i'm gonna get one and probably put it on this wall here uh with a weatherproof box so that we can get signal out here because the barn actually does block a lot of the signal you could be standing right there where that turkey is get plenty of signal from inside but as soon as you step into the doors then you get nothing so we're definitely going to need something otherwise the cameras on the far end like up there that camera likely won't get signal and so on but anyway that's that's not what this video is about 
I'm getting off at a tangent. You guys know I do that all the time. But um, what I'm trying to do, number one, is figure out I need to be able to run the wire in there that's not going to be easily accessible. Obviously, <laughs> somebody who really wants to climb a ladder, you know, 16, 18 feet and cut some wire, you know, they would definitely be caught on camera doing so. Uh, but I would rather not have a wire that just runs all the way down the side and then I cut a hole in the side and then that makes it really really easy to To cut the wire. I'd rather run it. There is a loft. There's a hay loft up there. It's a second floor um, I can run it into that upstairs area and then run it down to the breaker panel Which is actually right on the other side of this wall and I can easily do that. That's not a big deal um, you know, the, the wire is what's it need to be 14 two at best. I mean, it's not even going to be that expensive to do so, but, um, the, the point is, and I probably got a whole bunch of wire around here anyway. So, I mean, look, he's got wire hanging out of the walls here. That's never been used. Um, the point is, is that I'm trying to figure out, I can mount it obviously on that corner, no big deal, but then running the wire inside, you know, drilling a hole in the side, sealing off that hole. That's, that's where I'm really, really concerned as well as to be perfectly honest i don't know what's on the other side of that hole so how do you figure that out i know this video is probably really strange but our concerns are getting greater and greater um and it's really sad i mean it just it really is sad that we actually have to resort to this i was really hoping to not have to we're starting out with four cameras in the barn to mainly watch the livestock and then we're going to be adding some to watch our driveway the house, the backyard, things like that. I mean, I don't like that idea. I was all for it. Believe me, when I lived at my old place and I was right in town, right in the city, and I had all these people around, I had as many cameras as I could possibly get up because it was way more common to get your house broken into or weird people walking across your yard and, you know, scoping you out. It was just much more common, so cameras were a huge term. But I, we figured that when we moved out here, it would be peace and quiet, nobody would bother you. And, yes, it's true that no matter where you move, you know, there's always a risk for something. Somebody could uh, come out to the middle of nowhere thinking that, you know, it's all safe out here and then, you know, break into your house. I'm not saying that's impossible, but I was really hoping to avoid it. But it seems like to me, the the road that I go up and down, um, I see more and more cameras on people's homes. Um, so it, it's it's something that's, you know, I don't I don't know if the days of people just leaving their homes unlocked because it's so safe i don't know if those days are completely gone but they're definitely dwindling down um my uh my uncle was uh he lived in missouri he lived uh um oh shoot i can't bon Terre, missouri is where it's from and uh, uh i think there's like a water reserve out there but anyway he lived in a private neighborhood and he never locked his doors there was no crime out there nothing nobody ever broken anything it was like this this tight-knit neighborhood watch thing and nobody dared and that was well before security cameras you know this was this was mid 80s early 90s so unfortunately yeah i mean we have to resort to this because if our neighbor especially that guy right there this this poor guy he is just hitting um i guess what you would call puberty he is our tom and he loves hearing his gobble. Um, he absolutely loves it. Um, and again, he's he's a brand new Tom. He's just at that point. But um, sometimes, oh, that's just, see, <laughs> that's perfect. You guys got to see that uh, right on camera. <laughs> you guys are good timing, right? But anyway, so yes, he loves to hear his gobble. He loves to wander. And uh, our neighbors do not like our livestock, even though we... Our way out in the middle of nowhere, there's livestock all and up and down this road. For some reason, he has a problem with ours, as well as my neighbors. My neighbor has guineas. The guineas travel all over, and actually, you know what? The guineas are a huge help because they they really do keep the tick population down. If, you know, we would get guineas if they weren't so annoying, so we just let him. And they they roam throughout our our whole our whole everything. They. We have the guineas will wander from his house all the way down to the creek, and it's nice. We we really do like them because they do manage the tick population, which seems to be getting worse and worse every year. But uh, the guy across the way, he doesn't want anything on his beautiful property. So, um, like I said, the cameras, that's what we're going to be doing, and I can do it. I'm just a little afraid of cutting a hole in the side of the barn 
and then it not be sealed up properly. So that's what I'm looking for. Here, are, here we are, 10 minutes into it. Some advice on sealing up the hole, making sure I don't hit something I'm not supposed to hit. What would be the steps that you would take? I'm not gonna pay $350 for a professional to come out and do it. I can do it myself. I just need a little bit of advice doing so. And Google is not a very good help. And I know, and I, I absolutely enjoy uh, talking to my subscribers. And a lot of times when I have questions like these, that are kind of off the beaten path questions, um, you guys will call me and tell me what I need to do. And that's just awesome. I love that community. Um, you know, we're, uh, we're all in this together for sure. So anyway, we're starting with the barn. That's gonna be the first four cameras on each corner. And then I'm gonna move my way up to the house and the driveway. And since they're wireless, um, uh, you know, I, I can place them pretty much wherever I want to and I don't have to worry about bearing wires or anything else like that. So anyways, uh, it's cooling down finally. We, I think we almost had a record temperature today. Um, but uh, yeah, we went from, we went from winter to summer in one week. Seriously. I mean, we, we went from 50s to 80s. It was, I think, 87 or 88 today. And uh, fortunately, I've got enough solar hooked up right now. You guys, I can't zoom in because I'm using the 60 frames per second. But fortunately, I had enough solar to be able to run the upstairs central air. And that kept the house mostly cool. Uh, we haven't started the big air unit yet. That's coming. We're still making sure that we've got that thing dialed in. Sid's been extremely busy. And he's doing a great job as he is now. So, but uh, it is supposed to cool back down to the 60s, which will be nice because I really want to finish that. I mean, you probably probably can't see, but my arm is absolutely just super red. It's terribly red because uh, I've been out pretty much every day working on that new stand. Just got the bottom row signpost up just today, finally. And now I gotta do the top row and then I can start hanging panels. So it has been it has been a lot of work, but I'll get a video of that later on. So anyway, back to the camera thing. I do appreciate you guys' help, of course. As always, I appreciate all your support. Hopefully you're having a, a nice, nice weather day. We are here, except during the afternoon, that sun really bakes, which is great for solar. But man, working out in it, ooh wee. Anyways, oh, the moon's out. Isn't that nice? I just noticed that. Beautiful moon, by the way. Beautiful. So I hope everybody has a great rest of your evening. Uh, it is Friday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend as well. I do appreciate all the happy weekend wishes that I always get on Fridays from all the customers who I talk to on Fridays. So that's very nice of you. And I appreciate your support as always. And take care.